Hey everybody, I'm doing my first Uber Eats shop and pay order. How do you think it's going? Well, stick around and I'll share more, the good and the bad. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve both your earnings and ratings as a food delivery driver. Right now I'm waiting, oh, Okay. Actually, hold on. The uh, Uber Eats support guy wants a copy of the receipt. So I'm going to do that now. So anyway, you can tell how this video is going to go. In the beginning, I was a little nervous because I saw a shop and pay order and I haven't done one before because I just got my card activated. And when I saw the order, I just touched on it because I saw that it said 21 items. I wanted to see how they were. And then when I pulled up, um, the whole list, they were just names and no pictures. So I was a little bit scared and uh, just checking the status here of this uh, agent. And so when I got in the store and I started shopping, it was good. It brought back pictures and everything like I'm used to. When I shop, I move quickly because I know that time is money. And so I move as fast as I can, carefully selecting the items for the customer. It was pretty easy. The big difference that I noticed with Uber Eats, the shop and pay, is that you don't have to verify uh, by scanning the item. You just click on your own and say that it's good and that you have it. They do give you a picture, so I caution you, be careful that you pick the right size and the right item because the app is not going to help check you. You have to be the, uh, the final authority on making sure you get the right order. It did go smoothly and it was easy to pay. The credit card worked fine. And so that's a good thing. Isn't that funny? He's asking me if I paid with my own funds. I would encourage you do not pay with your own funds. <laughs> this is like a live video in action, telling you the beginning and hitting the ending at the same time. So anyway, um, I think, I hope that they're going to make their system better when Corner Shop comes into Uber Eats Shop and Pay because they do have a lot better checks and balances there, kind of like Instacart. But if not, you can experience, maybe it'll be like the Wild West of shopping and you'll just manage just like I did and figure it out. Overall, the order did go smoothly. I did take a picture and they only want you to take one picture of the entire receipt. And then from that point on, as you can see here, I got a navigation error and I wasn't able to uh, get to the customer. And then it started the loop over again. So I had to say that I finished shopping and then take a picture of the receipt. As soon as the uh, customer's address came up, I did a screenshot so I knew where to go. And then sure enough, if I tried to navigate or do anything, it would uh, start over again. All right, let's try to close this out. Having an app glitch with Uber Eats, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of the receipt again for like the fourth time. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to call Uber Eats customer support. All right, let's see how that goes. Submitting photo, unreal. This is unreal. All right, so I'm gonna call Uber Eats support because I need help. It's been a while since I've heard this music. Oh, hung up, awesome. All right, looks like chat's better than calling. All right, I sent him a picture using the timestamp camera app. It took a total of 45 minutes to shop an order of 21 items, and that would have been no big deal except now I'm going on an hour and 20 minutes just because of all the hassle of the app glitching. So I would say if you're quick, so far the shop and pay orders are manageable. You just need to be careful that you pick the right item uh, because I could see later on they could say that you didn't get the right item and you want to make sure that you do your best. If nothing else, I'm glad that I got this order right now. That way you can benefit from this experience. I would really hope and trust that there's not continued issues with the app because if there are, I obviously won't do these orders. But, you know, it's a one-time thing I'm hoping. And of course, if it continues to happen to me, I'll be sure to let you know. 
All right, so he says here, after careful review, as I can see, the order has already ended from your app. You'll receive $4 for your time. That would be $4 for roughly, say, 30 minutes. I'll just let him know. Thank you very much for your help. But wait, there's more. What is one more important thing that you should do when you're doing shopping? First, let me have a word from our sponsor and then I'll get back with you right away. Hi there. This is Protection Against Deactivation Body Worn Cameras. The other thing that you can use is a dash camera and a cell phone. Dash camera protects you for driving. The cell phone has the timestamp camera app on it. It shows GPS location, date and time to protect yourself against false accusations from customers. That doesn't make no I highly recommend that you protect yourself doing any sort of food delivery, ride share, anything in the gig economy. I hand these out to people as well. Thank you for your attention when you get a chance. Watch the Bob Love M5 and N9 video reviews that I made for these. Thank you for your attention. Let's get back to the video. All right, so what did you think of that sponsored video? That was awesome. So yes, you need to protect yourself by having a dash cam, a body camera, the timestamp camera app, it's really good. That way you can prove Anything that goes wrong, you can at least document your deliveries like I did here with that support agent. I sent him the picture that I took with the timestamp camera app. So I think that's a big takeaway for you today is be prepared, protect yourself, protect your job because you know if you haven't had this experience, I, I pray that you don't, but we are definitely expendable as food delivery drivers and shoppers the company will get rid of us quickly because they want the customer to be happy. So do your part and protect yourself with the variety of tools that I've shared with you on my channel. All right, it's time for me to get on home. The sun's going down and obviously this wasn't a great experience for me tonight, except that I was able to make a video for you warning you of the potential pitfalls of doing a shop and pay order. You know, if it wasn't for that app glitch, I would be all for it. And I'm not opposed. I'm going to keep doing them, but if I keep having problems like this, that's a different story. All right, so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. And I'll see you in the comments below. Please share about those shop and pay experiences that you've had so far. All right, take care, everybody. Stay safe, and please earn a lot of money out there helping our customers. All right, goodbye. It's so hot.